Alrighty guys, y'all ready for this new game? Um, well it's new to, the franchise is new to my channel, uh, Chill is Art. I'm sure all of you have heard of it. Um, I've been wanting to play it for a while, as you know I've been trying to do some horror games. But it's hard to convince myself um, to try something like this. I'm like, I'm gonna do maybe a horror game once a month. Um, and then I still want to keep up with my other content that I'm used to doing. Um, but I figured I'd try this and see if you guys like it. Literally to prep myself for this game today, I had to put, do makeup and everything. I was like, I gotta, I gotta get myself in the zone for this. Um, as you can see, I'm actually wearing green uh, eyeshadow. That's partially because I... My, my Halloween costume from last year. I'm trying to use the stuff that I have, but also because where I am, where I live, uh, Mardi Gras is a thing. I have like, I don't know if you can tell on there, but I have like uh, purple, gold, and green <laughs> nails to try to do Mardi Gras. So <laughs> I was trying to go with the theme, but just explaining it in case you didn't understand. Um, yeah, anyways, all of that is irrelevant because today we are playing the convenience store on uh, Chilla's Art. On Chilla's Art. From Chilla's Art. Um, I have never played a Chilla's Art game before, <laughs> so this might be quite a trek for me. So we'll have to see how it goes. <laughs> Get some popcorn. You know, get comfy, get a blanket, let's start. Here we go, I'm gonna make sure the audio works when we get into it, cause... Is that catching? You guys hear it? Okay. It's time. Time for what? I need to get ready for work? Oh. Okay. Oh, yay! Good sleep is always nice. Can I eat the chips? <gasps> the little mousy or whatever it is. <laughs> Chinchilla, right? Yeah. I'm so excited to finally be playing this. Oh. Okay. This dark. Do I need a flashlight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and change clothes for work. I didn't realize we hadn't. <laughs> Yay. Not ready. Can I look in the drawers? The fridge will have what I need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Oh, is that it? Yes, please. Oh, oh, oh. I'm mildly terrified. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, everything's fine. I hope the audio is good enough. I can raise it if you need me. I need to eat something, change and grab a flashlight before I leave. Oh, so I do need to eat, okay. Cause I did everything else. All right, where's the food? Ain't nothing in here. Hey, at least I clean up. Oh, there we go. <gasps> do I get to cook it? No. Do I just eat it? How do I eat? <laughs> How do I eat? Oh, okay, yeah. My brain was like, how, 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 what, what? And I got my flashlight on and everything. I don't know how to turn it off. It's been a day, let me tell you. It's been a day. I've been trying to get started with this for like a while, but I just kept putting it off. I don't know why. 
I wanted to do it, but it's just, you know, one of those ADHD things. Oh. Yes, give me the bento. All the bento. Nom nom nom. Okay, I have eaten. I have done all the things. Let us go. Food time. I mean food time. Home time. <laughs> Nobody did her pop out of me. I got stuff to do. Place to go, people to meet. I don't know where I'm trying to go. The corner of this thing was bright for some reason. Okay. Is there a place I'm supposed to be going to? Maybe I go down here. I passed it up like twice. <laughs> oh, nope. That ain't it. Okay, so it's over here. So, how have you guys been doing? My day was just all errands and like I got nothing accomplished that I wanted to do. Because I had like millions of things that I was trying to do that other people wanted me to do. Ugh. So annoying. I think we follow the light, right? But yeah, I'm just like, ugh, tired. <laughs> But hopefully tomorrow I won't have to do anything, because I've been doing so much lately. Oof. I did enough errands today, hopefully I don't have to go back out tomorrow. Did I hear a noise? Maybe I'm just being paranoid. I hope I don't have to walk back home, I'm not gonna know how to get back. There's like an obvious place where I'm supposed to go, and I just followed the other light. Wait. How do I get out of here? Can I go this way? There we go! See the break in the wall? That's what I was supposed to go for. I, I didn't know where I was going, I got lost. But, yeah, you cannot leave without this flashlight. You won't know where you're going. <laughs> Not that it lets you anyway. But, there it is! The convenience store. Ugh. At least nothing was like chasing me out. Hello. I don't know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of, the day of judgment will come. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Hey. God, you made it. No, it's just that I recently heard that somebody fell off a bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha ha. Okay. So what do I do? Oh wait. Yeah, I probably should, right? I don't think there's anything else I would need to do. I keep on wanting to hit enter for that. It just makes me want to do it, but I know it's, but I don't need to. Oh, punch in. Okay. Yes, please. Oh, wait. I'm so dumb. Hold on. <laughs> I need to do this. I was thinking because at my work we lock in online, so my brain was like, oh, this is how I punch in. <laughs> I didn't know it was a literal punch machine. Okay, so we gotta go do that. Oh, he left. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's go get rid of the expired food. Yes, please. Oh, maybe this person needs help. Hello. Mm. Uh, yes, walk right through me, sir. Can I not? Do I have to put this down first? What was dropped? I already forgot. Hold on. Maybe I can. Okay. Let me help him out while I figure out how to throw that away. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming in, sir. <clears throat> My throat is like <laughs> gonna be the death of me before I even start the game. I'll just put it over here. No one has to know. <laughs> No one has to know that I don't know where to put the trash. Maybe I put it back here. Oh. No. I don't. Damn it. Maybe I have to bring it back out to the dumpster. Wait, I didn't do it all. I just did a little bit. Okay. If I turned around and there was somebody there, I was gonna be like, excuse me. <laughs> this guy's probably angry that I'm taking forever to life. <laughs> did he leave? Oh, what's happening with the door? There you go. Ah, so I can't- so what I'm learning is I can't read anything until after I've put this away. Once I'm holding it, it like, makes it weird. I don't like that the music just cuts off the second I get out of the store. It makes me uncomfortable. I want music. <laughs> I'm also one of those people, though, that has this thing, like, if I'm driving or I'm, like, doing something that I don't particularly love doing, I have to have music or I will, like, actually get, like, upset. <laughs> so I think that music really helps me. Interesting. I think I went through all the stuff. Maybe. Let me check this. Oh, I didn't check this. Okay. Recommended. Hi.
We recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. This is for you. I'm skeptical. What? Um. Why would I take it home? My ship doesn't over yet. I thought I finished doing that. I must have missed one. Well, thanks, dude. Look at the footage. I need agua. Okay. Oh, D. Oh. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I press arrow key instead of uh, wazed. Oh, I didn't look at the top shelf. I don't know if it matters. Check all the expiration dates on the shelves. Okay. Ugh, I was stressing. I was like, I don't know if I got it or what. Yes, please. I guess the only way to progress is to open this package. This was a bad idea. Excuse me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I didn't even turn it on. I don't want to. There was nothing in here? What the heck? There's no food in here either. Okay, well I guess we have to. <laughs> I can't be in any, gotta watch it. God, I feel like I'm gonna throw up already. Like I'm already anxious. <laughs> Someone's gonna be like dead on the ground or something. <sighs> or we're gonna find out that we're in the footage or something. It's gonna be something like now we're in the world of the tape. Okay. What is the target objective? Okay, so I didn't need to do anything else, but I need to get my flashlight. Interesting. Don't make me walk all the way there, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I just clo I just closed the door on myself. There's no way I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna try, but no promise. Okay, so I just leave the door open. All right. Whatever. I'm not looking anywhere but where I need to go. God, it's darker than before. Also, I couldn't adjust any settings, so, by the way, just so you know. Watch this whole thing just turn out being a fever dream. That's what I'm gonna believe. That's what I'm gonna stick to. Oh, I fell down. Okay, good. I thought maybe I was gonna get stuck. Okay. I need to go that other way, but I can't see. No. That's not it.
Oh, the no sound is so creepy. Okay, well that was not right. Hi, convenience store. I'm sprinting, but I don't know if I'm really sprinting. Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going, Mark? I don't know what his name is, but <laughs> just calling him Mark. Oh, sorry. Too close to see your face. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we gotta gotta check the sensor, and it seems like it the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? <laughs> I see those on TV all the time. Ghosts aren't real. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, sir. This is a video game. They could always be real. Yes, I'm going to punch in. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Terrible coworker. Please don't leave me here. I'm scared. <laughs> I could not do this job. There is no way. I could work at night. <laughs> like, I'm up all hours of the night, but I could not be working <laughs> at night. <laughs> I'm already gonna look at the CCTV. Don't leave me- wait. Ah, oh, it's an old person. Okay. That's acceptable. Why is the trash messed up? Who did that? Oh my goodness. It's an elderly person. They might need help with stuff. So let me just stay here. Oh well, they're gonna take forever, right? <laughs> Should I be checking for expired stuff? Sorry, I activated the sensor. Ooh. God, just standing here makes me hungry. The occasional, like, thump makes me think of a heartbeat. And it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I want one. How would I get rid of them? Do we have poison or something? <laughs> Hi. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Would you please fetch me five cans of beer? Here you go. Where is the beer? Is it back here? I know, right? He shouldn't be telling us what to do, but... I know what it's like. I don't know if I got the right thing. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know if I got the right thing. Is that not right? I literally picked up five. Oh, did I drop it?
I can't carry more than one. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm only capable of carrying one at a time because you're being a jerk. <laughs> this can't be right. I've gotta be doing something wrong. But at least it's not like a timer or something. That would make me really angry and stressed. There you go. Or at least he thanked me. At least there's that. Even if it's not courtesy. I mean, even if it's just a courtesy. So how do I get rid of the rats? Do we have, like, rat poison? Maybe we have it in the storage room. I was about to say, is the elderly person still in the bathroom? <laughs> Are they okay? There they oh, there it is. Oh, what is this? That's not poison. Is it? Oh yeah, it's got a little mouse on it. Okay. I'm sorry, little dude. I don't want to, like, kill you, but... what it is. Oh. I don't see. Where were the other ones? Like, the boss is gonna write that, but he's not gonna do it, you know? Like, <laughs> like I would see, like, I got rid of some, can you please, if you see more, can you get rid of them? You know what I mean? Like, I could see that, but not me do everything all the time. Are you okay? Where's Ken Ken? Ugh. This is my daughter's house, oh, ma'am. I don't think this was anybody's house. What did you do? How dare you? Oh, I'm sorry. She must have some, uh, excuse you. She must uh, not be able to remember correctly. My brain keeps trying to think amnesia, but that's not what amnesia is. <laughs> Dementia or something. <laughs> okay, let's check the CCTV again, I guess. So we did our task for the day, right? Everything's going okay. 40 minutes in already. Wows. Shaw's art usually isn't too long either. Ugh, it's doing the thing again. Mark, they didn't fix it, they lied to you.
Stop it. Get some help. All I can do is like fiddle around and see what progresses things. Oh my god! It was a kid! Causing mischief. <laughs> Did you see that? He kept running and making it open and close. How dare you, kid? Where's your parents? Oh. Oh, I'm going behind the counter. If I worked here, I would be behind the counter 24-7 anytime somebody walked in. Like, I might, like, go run and try and run and do something when no one's there, but... Or, like, when the elderly person was in the bathroom or something, but... I wouldn't be, like, out walking around, because I'd be... I don't think, like, this isn't protecting me, really, but... Alright, are you gonna make me get something for you, too? I feel like you are. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. A package. Oh, this was- was this here before? I don't remember. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, dude. He did look familiar. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot. The music's going to my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know how to get it to to happen. You just had to you know, enter the right area. Just eventually come across it and we would make it the next night. Oh, umbrella? Yeah, because it's raining. Flashlight? Um, I'll shine this right at you, sir. Oh. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to do it. Who's sending me weird videos? If someone left that on my front porch step, I wouldn't. I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> Who knows who'd be on that tape? Be like, I'd rather not know. Oh, look at my little umbrella. Obsession with closing doors. Alright, let's go. Oh, she left this door open again. Get ready for me to get lost, part 85. It is kind of monotonous having to go, you know, do the same thing every day. Here we go. I feel like I'm gonna make that mistake every time. Just me and my sad little red umbrella. Y'all, my stomach is like... Flipping out. <laughs> the guy isn't here! Wait! <gasps> what the fuck, dude? That's not funny! <laughs> that is not funny. I was like, where is he? Yeah, next time I come, you're not gonna be here. You're gonna be dead. Or something. Like... That's what I feel like is gonna happen next. 
What is wrong with you? <sighs> Some products are missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. Please restock them by tomorrow morning. Alright. There he goes. Excuse me? What just ran away? Ooh, we're, gonna, we're totally gonna have to check that out, right? <laughs> Can't help it. Curiosity. Got nothing else to do on this job. Alright. Let me start restocking. Can I restock, please? Hmm. Oh, maybe I gotta go back here. There we go. Yeah. Candy. Yeah. There you go. God, this would be such a monotonous job. Like, oh my god. Okay. Who locked the door? <gasps> I'm locked in here. That's not funny. <laughs> I don't know where this goes. Oh, it goes here. Amanda, so there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay, dude, no worries. thing for that and then we should be good very task oriented it's the way i get things done like if i don't do it in a task like if i don't like make it a thing a point to do it all together then i totally forget to do it there's gotta be another one Because we still have empty spaces. Oh well, guess it's fine. Hey dude. Oh, should I do it?
I want to go in the door of doom. We're going in the door of doom. It's locked. Okay. We're not going in the door of doom. Don't worry, we'll have to go in it later, I'm sure. Oh. Why do we have this? Yeah, I agree. I didn't know I was a girl, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> At the very least, I'll give you my production, my protection charm. Now be careful. Oh, thank you. Yes, I need all the help I can get. Don't worry, I'm armed and ready. Maybe I'll try to use this on the door. God, my stomach is like rolling. in the AC? Oh my god. Feels as though something is grabbing me. Okay. Um, how do I get out? <laughs> no! Evil door doom! Doom door! Oh my god. Oh my god, the freaking toilet. Everything's haunted. Everything. Stop it. Oh no, I'm locked in here. back here. No, they're not. Knew I should have kept the wrench. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> they're in the camera. Oh my god, that got me so bad. They destroyed the police. Now I'm gonna get fired. I don't think that should be my concern, though. That should not be my concern. 
god, my heart is beating. Picking up the talismans. Is there a place we can put them? Maybe I put them on the door. Okay, well hold on. Can I pick this up first? No. Okay, sorry. You know me, I want to have everything clean and together. Make it look so much more organized than it is in my brain. <laughs> I'm like compensating for the lack of organization in my life. Wow, my flashlight does like nothing. Okay, this is the worst idea we've had all day. Where are you actually gonna go in here? Scary bad idea. Oh, somebody's dead. Somebody. Somebody is no longer alive. Mark, is that you? The manager. Holy shit. Oh no. I can't get out. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this might be a moment where you're supposed to have something with you. Yeah, come get me. I mean, what the heck can I do about it? There ain't nothing I can do. I'm not scared. You know, I did this to myself. I shouldn't have watched the tapes either. Maybe if I didn't watch it. Maybe. Because I think there's multiple endings, right? Oh, it's not the end. Not the end. <sighs> Let me, like, just be home. What did that say? It said something and I clicked and I didn't get to read it. Okay. Let's go exercise some demons. I can't get out of my house. Part 85. No. <laughs> the same reaction I have every time. No, please. Don't make me do it. <sighs> we have to. We need to see. Okay, a bed. It would be interesting if it was our bed. Oh wait, that's not a bed, this is the door. <laughs> it looked like two pillows. You know, never mind. <laughs> it's the door. What do you think, chinchilla? Can you save me, Chinchula? Because I am scared. Can't leave. See, I couldn't leave without, uh, without doing that. So how much you want to bet I'm gonna get stalked tonight, and it's gonna be like, if you're not fast enough, you die. And I am just gonna die. <laughs> I can't do anything fast. So it's this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. I still can't figure out what that little thing in the center is for. Maybe that's just to have for us to have a point of reference when we're turning the camera and it's dark like that.
Like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever played The Long Dark, but they have the little dot in the center so that you know where your, where the center of your screen is. This guy's gonna be fucking dead. In the locker, in the locker mark? That did nothing for me. <gasps> um, that's not going to save me. What the fuck is this? What is this? Nails? Bloody nails. The bathroom looks safe. I'm gonna go in there. I'll stay back here. Can I see anything on the CCTV? The kid? Okay. Okay, so the kid is walking around. Hi, kid. I can't leave. Oh, there's another TV here. Come get me. Come kill me, please. <laughs> okay, I think I just figured it out. I also have the hiccups. So I apologize. <laughs> In advance. Um, but what we do is we need to look at where the kid is looking on the footage and that'll tell us who. Where to look. So that one. Okay, I have kind of an idea of what I'm looking for, but the problem is, is I don't really know. So I'm gonna have to like, kind of guess a little bit. So, one of them is definitely, okay, the one over here is like here. I think it's here or here.
So it's further in than that other one. It must be this. Okay, and then this. Okay, so I was dumb. Oh. Because it's not this top one, it's this one. I think. Then I think I had all the other ones right. I had to look up a walkthrough because I would have never gotten it right. And it is this one. And then it's this one. sound like a child. You do not sound like a child. Okay. That's giving me like Silent Hill PT vibes <laughs> of the baby crying in the bathroom. That was like gross. Easy. Okay. Oh. I could throw it away. I could give it away. Or I could play it. I'm gonna send it. Yeah. Send it to somebody else. I don't know if you guys have ever watched The Ring, but maybe that'll save me. <laughs> Give it to someone else. Let them... I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said there seemed to have been some gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man was killed, killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local super, supermarket. I don't know why I read it like that. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. Then he hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured along with her child in her stomach. That's all the nails. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images. I want to throw up too! <laughs> but I knew I had to continue. 
There is a guy that replied to the comment and said he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the place was often harassed by his boss, complained to several colleagues. They of the incident, he said he had an emotionless face, imagining what the whole family had gone through depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet, called manager, and talked about everything I experienced. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Okay, I had a bad feeling. Then with a shivering voice, it said the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where he was found, Mr. Hoso said that there was an old storage behind the convenience store and he was found there the day after his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to keep but <laughs> pass, keep but try and pass as quickly as possible. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management. <laughs> yeah, right. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day as I passed by, now the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There I saw the woman. When I looked in my head, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. What did you do with it? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so what did you guys think? Uh, it took me forever to do that um, TV part. It actually took me like 30 minutes. And then I actually went and looked at a walkthrough. Because even with the walkthrough, it was hard to tell which ones. But after trying to do it for so long, I was more aware of it. So then I could actually figure out what the person was going to. But damn, that was like... Because the angles made it really hard to tell which specific one. Um, I wish it could kind of been like a system of where you get... If you get one right, that one will blink green or something. You know, when you like do the thing. Whichever ones are right would blink right. And then the ones that are wrong would blink would you know not blink that color or whatever but I mean that's really my only complaint <laughs> my other thing was just trying to find the place but that's a personal problem okay like I'm just terrible with directions like I'll probably just cut that part out for some reason in games I really struggle with trying to find my way around in real life, I'm so good at it, so I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> but in games, I really struggle. So, anyway. I had a good time. And there are multiple uh, endings to this game. I'm not going to try and find the others tonight, at least. But I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. I'm still weirded out by the whatever creature it was, and the- honestly, the child's noise disturbed me the most. I don't like it. Um, like I was mentioning, <laughs> if you've played Silent Hill P PT, that's always been like a trigger for me and creep me out so bad. And I watched someone else play it, and it was like, I was terrified. And I was like, like back in the day, I don't know when I don't know what year that came out, but I watched Dan and Phil actually play it. <laughs> and they were freaking out, and I was freaking out. So, anyway. Yeah, I remember that. Like, it was yesterday. That was terrifying. But that noise really sounded like it, and... Ugh, my stomach is, like, all twisted. I need to go have some, like, soda or something. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll be back. I'll be back more soon with more uh, horror and other things. So, thanks for watching. Have a good night, y'all.